Hi, Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There's a realization about happiness. Also being at peace. Your path. There's being an assessment. Assessment is being made. Somebody is aware that you have been successful. Okay. I'm going to have to say for some of you, it's maybe like spirit universe looking, watching, or this could be in your job. Someone is aware of your success or aware of how well you've been doing, how you've hung in there, you've pushed through, you've been strong. This could be obviously a boss, someone who, you know, has authority to promote you. It could be universe as well, spirit. It could be a surprise or um, actually a reward or something coming towards you. Something's going to make you very happy. So it is like um, receiving more money in and it gives you kind of that peace, that security or, you know, a relationship here. Because the serenity card to me is the star card, the lover's card kind of combined even the four swords, because it says be calm. Just like a, realiz a realization that things are going your way, your, your way. You're going to be happy, Virgo. You're going to feel peaceful. Maybe even feeling like a lot of stress. Maybe even working hard and taking tests. And you're going to realize, wow, I passed my tests. I did great. You had finals. Or again, you were up for a promotion or a review. And you're going to pass. You're going to do really well. You're going to get really good feedback. So that's fantastic. What else does Virgo need to know at this time? Messages, communication moving forward. You're in the outcome. Interesting. There is a person here who maybe is, again, assessing you, looking at you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. First thing I feel is somebody like, wants to take some time off. They want to go on vacation. They want to quit work, school. They're going home. I was like, listen, I want to get out of here. I want to go have some fun. What is the Eight of Wands? What are these messages? There's definitely a, um, okay, I got the word bond, a bond of love. But the cards tell me, though, there's like this message of somebody like, let's get together. Let's go out have fun. This could be a love connection, which probably is for most of you. But it could also be something platonic with a friend, uh, something like that. Because I'm seeing under the deck is the Five of Cups. So it's kind of like somebody misses you. It's like a message coming through of... Let's just get out of here and go have some fun. What is this Eight of Coins? Justice, the Knight of Swords, and the Relationship card, or the Work card, Taurus. Could be Taurus or Libra involved here. I just get really good messages coming through for you guys. I mean, it could be in a lot of different ways, and it could come through in different ways, because now they're showing me, you know, like, you could be working in a large company or something, or again, maybe this is a person in your life that uh, you love dearly, the two of you, Maybe coming back together. Maybe it's over the holidays. King of Swords, please. This could be very unexpected. Moon shows me unexpected messages. Communication, Ace of Swords. From someone that possibly you consider a twin flame. Maybe they're Pisces. But again, I feel like this is... Again, this is unexpected. But this makes you really happy. And it kind of feels like this, like either like a, a getaway or just like having fun together or just, you know, Ace of Wands, a Four of Swords. Look at that. See what I'm saying? It's like you go from zero to having fun in, in a heartbeat. Ace of Wands. It could be someone shares something with you, like how they're feeling. Again, also, I get like there's been a lot of stress. It's coming to the year end. Let's just let go and have some fun. It could be some reveals or feelings at like an office party or... Um, a group, some, you know, any type of like party get together here. What is the Queen of Coin? Queen of Coin has been also hiding their feelings from you this whole time. Nine of Wands, High Priestess, and the Four of Cups. This makes me feel like you may be kind of tired or burnt out, but you know, like, you need to answer this message, this call. If this person asks you out, you need to go because that's what we started with messages to you. I feel like this might be a secret rendezvous and maybe it's not so secret like that, but just kind of how the feeling through the, the cards are coming up. Okay, let's go here. Let's do the check-in. Past, present, future. What does Virgo need to know about this connection person or what's going on here? Oh, someone may want to apologize. Maybe the first thing that's happening here. It says apologetic. It says, I am truly sorry. Past, present, or future. What does Virgo need to know about this? And there is a longing. 
It says, will I ever see you again? But there's longing here. Someone gave up. They let go. Maybe you let go. Oh, I'm getting this now. And it says, someone was in despair. Another day without you breaks my heart. And one more. Okay, regrets. All right, so I'm, I am seeing here that this could be a message out of the blue from someone that maybe you let go of or you thought this just isn't going to happen again. This isn't going to work out. Um, this could be a very big surprise, a surprise message from someone. That's kind of what I'm getting because when I see like the Eight of Coins and Six of Swords show up together, it's like you just get up out of your chair at work and you just go. And you're just like, you know, I'm out of here. This person means a lot to me. I want to see them, even if it's only for the day, the weekend, whatever. Um, I'm getting the holidays. I'm getting, obviously, someone be, somebody probably has some time off. That's why all of a sudden now this is happening. It could also be maybe an emotional trigger for someone, someone who normally doesn't really show emotions with the moon here in the Ace of Swords. could be a feeling, you know, something comes through Christmas time, New Year's, the lights, you know, and all that stuff. Um, wow, Virgo. Wow. Uh, it's, it's funny is because I feel like you're very, very happy, but yet your outcome here with you being in the outcome, this person is choosing you. It's like you, how is Virgo feeling about this request or this, you're going to take action, you're going to manifest the star. Okay, you are. Look at that under the deck. Okay. So maybe it perks you up all of a sudden. Again, this is unexpected and that's kind of what I'm feeling. Because at first it's kind of like, I feel you getting another message like, oh, you get a phone message and you kind of are dreading it. Like, oh, like, I, said, I see someone sitting at work and... Something else I got to do. Then when you see who the message is from, it's like, oh my gosh. And what it says. Okay, so let's go to this person's energy. Let me see what this person wants to say to you. I honestly feel like this is a person that you haven't seen or spoken to maybe in like a year. I feel like there's some sort of reunion here. Somebody has, is saying, don't give up on me. You make me want to do better. This person definitely has a hard exterior and they're acknowledging it, hence the King of Swords energy. And please accept my apology. So you do have an apology in both decks. Vulner vulnerability is my weakness, is what they're saying as well. And that's probably why the King of Swords is showing up. What would this person like to say to Virgo? What would this person like to say to Virgo? They don't know really exactly what comes next in this connection with you. They don't know what you want and how you feel. They may be recovering some from something. They say they love you and one more please for Virgo. The timing just wasn't right for the two of you before. Okay. I literally see someone jumping up and down right now. I see someone jumping into someone's arms, like wrapping their legs around them. I see someone being very, very excited. It looks like it's coming from your side, Virgo. But um, it is like some sort of reunion and being and coming back together. So it's very happy. It's very exciting. I feel like it's just going to make your day, make your week, maybe make your month. End, end of the year here. I feel like telling you to take some time off, spend some time together, have fun, enjoy each other. Anything else, Spirit? They're saying, no, that's it. Wrap it up. So I'm going to leave it here. You guys have a great weekend.